Hello and welcome to the Unraid August Digest. I'm your host, Stefano Partita, and without any further waiting, let's go ahead and talk about all the things that went down in August. August was jam-packed with video content, specifically revolving around Unraid's 20th year anniversary. There was a live event that went down that you can check out on YouTube in case you missed it. That was pretty fun. And we also got a pretty sweet video made by Space Invader, aka Ed, that is also pretty fun to watch as well. And it all has to do with the 20th year anniversary. Be sure to check those out. And speaking of also other videos that came to us in August, Ibracorp is back. He heard your cries on Reddit and has started making videos again due to the mass uh, desire for him to start creating content. And he released some videos, one specifically about Unraid Zero to Hero, which is a fresh install and first setup, and another that has to do with an Unraid server tour, setup, tips, and things of that nature. Be sure to check us out if you're interested in that. And there's a whole boatload of other videos that have also been released. I'd highly recommend checking out the Unraid August Digest page if you're interested in those specifically. Unraid 7.2 Beta 2 was released in August as well as Beta 3, but we'll get to that a little bit later. With Beta 2, you can expect some updates to the web UI. It received an update that allows it to be more modern and responsive to various size screens and resolutions for different types of devices. There's a new Unraid API that opens the door for application integrations and automation. ZFS single VDEV RAID Z123 pools can now grow by one disk at a time. There is additional file system support for EXT2, uh, 3, 4, NTFS, and XFAT. Also, there's a very cool feature that will allow you to log into your Unraid server using an external OIDC provider. So anyone that uses Microsoft or Google or whomever, you can now use that to log in your Unraid server. That's pretty cool. As I mentioned, Beta 3 is actually available right now as a time of filming because this video is really late, but that's at this point. And the Beta 3 brings us many fixes to the dashboard and web UI, a new kernel that allows new features and so much more. There are some known issues with the current beta and previous betas, like the theme engine, dark theme, and dynamics time and date. These plugins are not compatible and will automatically be uninstalled if you have them installed. Always be sure to upgrade your plugins before updating to any of the betas because this will likely affect some plugins like the Unraid Connect plugin especially, as well as the NVIDIA drivers plugins and all of their various forms especially as well. There may also be visual and dashboard web UI issues caused by the new responsive capability of the web UI. So this might affect any custom plugins and that make modifications to the UI, be sure to give those authors time to update their plugins that interface with your web UI. So hopefully all of that gets resolved as these beta releases come out. So definitely wanna be aware of all of that and keep that in mind. Lastly, don't forget to check out the Unraid merch store so you could pick up some sweet merch like this. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and good night.